Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to the program. You're listening to the Costa Show, and uh, today is Tuesday, 
the uh, ninth day of March 2021. The time in Monrovia is 7.30 in uh, 7.30 a.m. 7.30 GMT. The time in Bay, Delaware, USA is 2.30 a.m. And I can't wait for when we return to um, uh, uh, well, right now it's daylight saving time, right? So this thing confuses me. <laughs> All right, folks. Welcome uh, to the program, and uh, it's good to be here. Um, uh, morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, it depends where in the world you are, and uh, it's very good to be here. Good morning, uh, George. Good morning, Cos, and good morning to our listener out there this morning. It's good to be back this morning. Yes. Very good to be back this morning. Um, we have some very interesting information we'll be sharing with you this morning. And uh, very, very interesting information. You know, my late Uncle Jeremiah Walker used to, used to say, interesting. <laughs> That's how I used to pronounce the word. Um, happy birthday to you, George. <laughs> Thank you, boss. So how do you feel today? Your birthday? Oh, I feel good. You feel you feel you feel good. Yep. All right, all right. So yesterday I asked you uh, how you intended to celebrate the birthday. You said we should wait until the day uh, reaches. Now today is the day. So how are you going to celebrate the day? Oh, today nothing much. Me and my guys are at the office today. Just going to have some fun. That is all. All right. So. Just open the gate up. But only thing, you'll be out of the enjoyment as well. Well, my brother, go ahead and, uh, and leave me out of the Are you sure I'm going to be out of the enjoyment? <laughs> you'll be out because of the form. You know, once you can bring out the form, we share together. Well, you got that. You, 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 you got that right. And I'll be out of that fun. But, um, 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 <laughs> uh, all right, George. Fine, it's okay. It's okay. So to to today is also the birthday of um, a good friend of ours, uh, a good man, a patriot, uh, a wonderful gentleman who loves life and loves to live well. He shares the day with you. You know. Uh, his Facebook handle is Drop Tap, and I'm gonna be doing my man a special birthday post. But here is the thing, George. So you see, Drop Tap lives in Manila, the Philippines, and uh, he's a Daha COP man. He loves his country and he loves life, and he's one of those people who, like many people I know. He's doing very well for, him, for himself in the Philippines and in Liberia. He's got projects there. He really doesn't have to battle with politics, but, you know, he's only involved and, and, and is openly supportive of the work that we do because uh, he um, because he's a patriot. So Drop Top celebrates his birthday today. You know, I, I will do my May post. And, uh, uh, you know, just to appreciate him and to wish him all the best as he celebrates his birthday today. With you as well, George. In fact, a big brother had just saved me the hassle, George, of having to send you a birthday present. You know, so I ain't got to send you no money for the birthday. I was thinking about sending you something, but it looks like I don't have to. Uh, you know, a big brother says, uh, 50, 50 bucks for George. George, you you hear that? Yes, thank you, thank you. Fifty dollars. So you see, I was thinking about sending you something for the birthday today, but same way. So I've only been here. Oh no 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 no! But but that one coming from from me. It, when once it comes to that big brother, it coming from me. So you see. Sure. Yeah. So that means it saves it it saves, it saves me the hassle. <laughs> All right. 
So you see, Mamet dropped out likes um, Hennessy XO. That's why he likes to drink. You know, that his favorite drink. Or one of his, uh, uh, you know, somebody said you can have more than one favorite. But apparently dropped out, it is his favorite drink. Hennessy XO. And I'm told it's uh, 250 he, he tells me it's $250 in, in the Philipp Philippines. So he asked me the, uh, the, uh, yesterday, he said, my man, how much is it in the U.S.? I said, oh, it's $200 in Delaware. You know, $200 in Delaware. So he said, okay, I see you like Hennessy XO as well. So what I would do for my birthday, which is his birthday, drop top, celebrating there in Manila, yeah, I remember the fight. Trailer in Manila. Uh, I, I believe it was uh, Muhammad Ali and... Uh, uh, was it Trailer in Manila with Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier? Was it Joe Frazier? I believe it was Joe Frazier. Anyway, anyway that's a boxing, a boxing match. So, <laughs> the dynasty, I get I get drafted. Oh, wait, they say they make money because of me. So, it saved me the, the hassle. I'm not going to send the men money again. They make that money already. So, mom, and Dinah, you and I got to talk. I got to call you. Uh, we got to, we got to talk. Can you remind me today when I, when I, when I, when I wake up? You and I got to talk. So, uh, so my man dropped that says, uh, he says, Pedro, I see you like Hennessy XO. And clearly I like XO too. Because I see my man dropped that doing your XO all the, all the time. So drop that says, uh, I'm going to send you 200 bucks so that why I'm celebrating my birthday in the Philippines, Manila, well, actually dropped out when out of this out of the capital city for his birthday yesterday. He drove out of the city uh, to another region of, of, of the Philippines to celebrate his birthday. So he said to me, I'm going to send you 200 bucks so that you buy a bottle of Hennessy XO2 so that uh, you and I can celebrate the birthday together. You see, John, all he's going to be doing is going to buy me a bottle of Hennessy XO2. Let, 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 let my man drop that. Eh, John? Yeah. Today your birthday, you should have buy me, you buy my own a drink. Why I'm celebrating your birthday? Why are you celebrating your birthday so that I can join you to celebrate from Delaware? What do you think? Let, yeah. let my man drop that. Huh? You love him again? I want to know <laughs> So you looking for the cheap one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I want to say shout out to uh, Drop Top and. Um, Thanks for my bottle of Hennessy XO. I'm going to buy it today. And I'll be celebrating with you in spirit while you are celebrating your birthday today in uh, the Philippines. And shout out to George. Uh, I'll get a bottle of Henne uh, Heineken. Because George said a Heineken you won't get from me. So I'll be drinking a Heineken. And then, you know, uh, yeah, while we're celebrating George's birthday. Yes, but uh, I want to say to all of you who celebrate today, a happy birthday to you, Drop Top, um, and uh, George Boy of our staff, and we thank you. Uh, we 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 thank God for all of you, for both for the both of you who celebrated your birthday today, and may God grant you both many many more returns of your birthday. So the show this morning is exclusively dedicated to George Boy of our staff, who's been with me since 2014. Uh, and of course, our friend and brother Drop Top, all the way there in the Philipp Philippines, uh, who celebrates his birthday today. I wish the both of you all the best. Now, I got some kind of G's I'll be dropping on y'all this morning. It's a very interesting. I will drop a little, I, I, I will not go in too, too much detail of it, but I will drop a part of it. Uh, oh, I want to just wait later this afternoon to do a special podcast to drop this cheese because it's too heavy to just drop in the morning when we normally don't have a lot of people watching. Well, a lot of people watch the show later on uh, in the morning, I mean later on in the day uh, when they wake up, especially because of how early we are yet. Uh, so I will think about that and see what I will do that this morning. Uh, George, what's the situation with those pro pro protests that were happening yesterday? Um, the people were protesting yesterday, but 
he said I had to leave, he did some of that stuff. But somebody said they were gonna call me once the show is on, they were gonna call me and they asked me for my number to find out your more Twitter. Okay. Yeah, uh there were three separate protests that were happening. Were they all about electricity? Yes. People are demanding for electricity. Well now AC is saying that before they get in it from four hours, they had to sign a resolution. A resolution? Yes, once the transformer got damaged, they will not be responsible. I mean, they will not be responsible. The reason why the transformers don't last is because of the overload. You see? Too many people are hooked up on one transformer. And that blows up the transformer. That's, that's why the transformers don't last. So... In order for the transformers to not be blowing up left and right every now and then, they have to maintain a certain amount of load on each transformer. Whose fault is it? LEC's yeah. fault, not the people's fault. I know how long people wait for one transformer. I mean, can you imagine in this day and age, people be waiting for months and months and months when their transformer blows up for LEC to come and replace it. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. You know, I mean... Why really can't the people... For every transformer they carry in a comedy, they had to wait for John Wheel to come first. <laughs> John is crazy. Well, you're you're right. Okay, so they want to wait on the John Wheel come before they switch the transmitter on. I mean, the, the transformer now. Yes. So they got to wait for Joey to come before they switch the transformer on. Because they want to have ceremony first, right? Sure. Look at that kind of nonsense. Jesus Christ. Even up to now, the screen light, saying the president put on the screen light, even up to now, there are some places dark. Some places, no current. The only place you see current here, you can see current here, except for Joshua, because the president lives in Riyadh. Huh? Alone. So even the street letter that they made all the force about, they are not working in a lot of in a lot of places. Yes. Wow. So for example, even when they bring a transformer to your community, they will install the transformer, then they will wait until George Mia comes before they switch the transformer on. So sure. <laughs> better shine alone. So everything. It's all about George Weir. It has to be about George Weir. Wow. That is sad. You know that in Lofa County yesterday, saying that Steven Zago, he presented Kao to the Luthien. Yeah, when they were celebrating their trophy yesterday in Lofa, I watched uh, a, a little bit of the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a former EPF, former EPF boss, Natana Brahma, when you see the male was someone in a tap, Costa. Oh, Nat, Nat Blama was there too to celebrate their trophy, right? Yes. Yeah, I think Nat from Lofa. But Lee our men now, man. They fired the man already, man. That Koji clown. See the men saying talking. Oh, Koji. That people. Yeah, I've been seeing, I've been seeing a man very active, uh, lately in, in Lofa. I wonder what you think Koji want from Lofa, George. He's been going to Lofa a lot. He's been doing a lot of things in Lofa. What do you think he wants from Lofa country? Koji. What he said is ambition to run for senator in Lofa. What in? To run for what in? Senator. To run for PV Park? He run for senator. Now, what part of Lofa he run for senator? That's the boy first game. Lofa, Lofa County. Poor. And, and also again, you know your man, Michael Bachino? Yeah, Bill, Bill, Bill Toy. Uh -huh. The elephant. Yeah. The man said you want to get 40 to 9 for the, for the recount. The re, for the recount in Riverside. Wonder why the man, the man I know he's so interested in Rofa and I mean in Riverside. Why? George, that's the thing, right? You know, I was just reading here in the Daily Observer. Again, the, the neck has stalled the thing. You know, I think be, because earlier they said the guy who won the election is uh, uh, Wellington Jeevan Smith. Eh? 
but the process is stalled. You, you, you see, so the Supreme Court again has stalled the process uh, on, uh, you know, and, and, and they're asking for another recount. They are asking for a recount of 104 of the 111 polling places, which was initially authorized by the Board of, Com of Commissioners of the, of the night. And we are told that Bill Crowley is the one paying for the recount. So, forty thousand dollars. So now we hear they say when you want to recount, why well, you, you got to pay the net after the two or fights. I mean, I don't, I don't know whether you know this, George, but I'm hearing that Bill Torrey has offered to pay forty thousand US dollars for them to do the recount. Yes, but I find that net, net saying that the MP of Ball is not the one supposed to give money to the Ministry of Finance. But when I went, they told me getting forty thousand dollars from the give up a recount. They may have interest in River Sands. Of course, we know he got interest in River Sands. We are told that he wants to run for the Senate in River Sands in twenty twenty three. We, that's okay. what we are told. Sure. So he want to please the president and say, "Oh yes, I have River Sands in my hand." I mean, look, forty thousand dollars. The man offering the money to do the recount. Wellington G. Von Smith was certified by the neck. Bill Torre, I think, who is he supporting? I think Bill Torre supports this guy. I think Sam Steve Qua. Yes. Uh, uh, Sam Steve, uh, um, no, Steve Tiqua or something. Sam uh, Steve Tiqua. I think that's the president Bill Torre supports in the election in Riverside. So, according to the neck, uh, Tikwa didn't win. Wellington Jeevan Smith won. But Bill Torre is supporting Steve, I mean, uh, uh, Steve Tikwa. So he's been pushing for the recount. I think they had a, a recount first, the second recount. And I'm told every time you request for a re re recount, because even in America, it costs a lot of money. I remember there was one time Trump wanted a recount in Wisconsin. The state of Wisconsin, uh, their electoral body, they submitted Trump a bill for millions of dollars. I, I, I believe it was around $7 million or $10 million. They said, this is what Trump should pay. I don't think Trump paid that money. So because of that, that, that recount was never never done. So the thing here is, we are told, Bill Tuawe is the one offering to finance the recount. 40000 United States dollars. Now, folks, where the hell you think that money is coming from? George, where you think that money is coming from? The money coming from the port. Of course it's coming from the port. You, do you see anything Bill Torrey will take his personal money to finance a recount? $40,000? He's not even in the, in the race? And he's not even hiding that? That's the point, George. The man are hiding it. Man, we are in sad, sad, sad times. So yesterday, the Supreme Court, well, they had an official op opening of the court, right? And Francis Coppola took the opportunity to respond to a lot of things that have been said about him in the public. In fact, he took a few jabs at me without actually calling my name, of course. And Coppola said... A whole number of things, and we want to discuss that. We just want to look at some of some of the things uh, Francis Cockwell said. I'm going to go to it right now. So Francis Cockwell Cock said, you know that that there has been this rumor that Cockwell might be running as VP to George Weah. I have this full speech here. This is his speech. So yesterday, you know. There are a few times the Chief Justice gets to make a speech. And the number one time he gets to make a speech in the year is at the opening of the courts. And yesterday was uh, such um, an, an occasion. So Kokbal took the advantage, uh, the March term of court, of course. He took the advantage to, uh, you know, to, to make this speech. And he said these things. And I will just, uh, you know, talk about some of the things Mr. Kapoor said. So Kapoor said 
that he's heard that people say he and George Weah will be running together in 2023. That George Weah is, has struck a deal with him to put him on a ticket to run as his vice president in 2023. Kapoor said in response to that rumor that it is not true. He said even if such an offer were to be made to him, he would respectfully decline it. Well, I don't know about him respectfully declining it, but he said that is not true. He has no interest nor the desire to be George Weah's running mate now or in the future. That's what Francis Coppola said yesterday. Now, there's also been this talk around, and we and we are told that it is a, it is a well-established fact that Francis Coppola was denied a visa while attempting to obtain a visiting visa to come to the United States, we're told very reliably that he was denied. This happened last year. Mr. Kapoor used the opening of code yesterday to respond to this talk that's been around for a while, rumor. He said that at no... Well, he did not deny. Neither did he come confirm. That's the point. Listen to this. Now, even though Kokpo chose to respond to this to this rumor that he was denied a visa to travel to the United States, but here is what he failed to do, George. He did not use the opportunity to say, I was not denied a visa. He simply said, somebody who claims to be his nephew is the one who said this, and blah, 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 blah. Kokpo did not deny that he was denied a visa uh, to come to the, to the United States. I don't know why he didn't deny it. I think I know why he didn't deny it, George. Why do you think he did not deny it, George? Because we already flagged it out to the public. And in an interview, he said that he, he was not in that. In another interview? Yes. Okay. But yesterday, when he had a whole big speech, when he had lots of people listening to him, it was an opportunity for him to say he was not denied a visa by the United States Embassy, but he did not say that. But so, was was who put the information out? No, 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 it's not about us putting the information out. We, we were not even first to put that information out, George. I think, say no. I think the reason Kokwa did not deny it is because it is true. So, to deny something that is true. It would be embarrassing, especially something like that. Like the U.S. Embassy denying you a visa and then you say to the public that is not true. When the Embassy knows that it is true, then the Embassy will say, oh, okay, so you're already lying. I mean, you are denying it. So I think it is true that Kokpo was denied a visa to come to the, to the United States. And, well, it does not surprise me, Kokpo is a shady character and the Americans know it. They've been on him for years. So I think that's why they deny him a visa. They are not impressed with him. But a couple of things Kokpo said, again. Kokpo talked about, I think he, he kind of took a swipe at um, at us for talking about this thing that has to do with um, the Judiciary uh, Inquiry Commission and their work. Uh, without actually mentioning Eva Mappin Morgan, but of course he wanted to address that issue that we've been talking about for days now. Kokpo said that uh, they, there have been times they have suspended judges and actions have been taken against judges. So uh, we should, yes, that is correct. Kokpo, there have been a number of occasions where judges have been suspended uh, for violation of, of, uh, of, 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 of one or two or more provisions of the judicial canon or the code of ethics uh, that govern the judiciary and judicial officers. That is correct. It is, it is true. Which is why we're wondering why is it that you are yet to take action against uh, Eva Mabin Morgan? That's what we're wondering, Kokpo. Because he, oh, he, oh, he, 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 he tried to say, oh, you know, um, yeah, Costa has been talking about uh, yeah, without calling our name, of course, that, that we've been talking about this thing and that they don't want to take action. And they, yes, they do take action all the time. And 
When investigations are done into the uh, conduct of judges and officers of the court, lawyers, etc., etc., they do take actions. That's true. Lawyers get suspended all the time. Their licenses suspended. Judges have been suspended in the past. But in the case of Eva Mappin, Morgan Kokwa does not want to act because we're told that he is involved himself. That is the situation, Kokwa. So you think yes, yesterday, by simply reminding us that um, there's a precedent, there is a precedent, uh, you know, there's a precedence where judges and judicial officers are or were penalized does not suffice. It is not enough. We don't need you to give us a, to litanize that. We need you to take action. You have the report. It was submitted to you since August of last year by the JIC on Eva Mappet Morgan. Take action, Mr. Kokwa. Take action. What the hell are you waiting for? Of course, we know you will not take action because we are told that you yourself were involved, Mr. Kokwa. That is why we expect that you will not take action against Eva Mappet Morgan. So in a speech here, long speech. He said he doesn't want to be vice president. He doesn't want to be this. He doesn't. He doesn't want to be that. Um. <laughs> okay, hold on, folks. I'm, I'm going through the, his speech. A number of things he said here. We're trying to address. Uh, all right, folks. Now, there's something I want to say to you this morning. I, I, like I said, I will give you a gist, and then I will leave it for the afternoon so I can drop the bombshell. The Liberian ambassador to Ghana has been fired. Record. That's the diplomatic word or euphemistic terminology used uh, to describe when an ambassador, when a diplomat posted abroad has been recalled or fired. There's a record. The Liberian ambassador to Ghana has been recalled. Fired. And she's a lady, a veteran, almost over three decades in uh, the diplomatic service. Almost over three decades. The Liberian ambassador to Paris, France has also been recalled. She is also a veteran in the foreign service. The both of them are women. The both of them are fired because of the same person. Now, let me repeat myself. The Liberian ambassador to Ghana, who is a woman, a veteran in the, in the, in, 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 uh, the Liberian Foreign Service with decades of experience, has been fired. The Liberian ambassador to France, uh, Mrs. Baz Golake, has also been fired. And the, both of them were fired just about the same time and because of the same person. And that person is the First Lady of the Republic of Liberia, Claire Weir. Claire Weir told her husband to fire the Liberian ambassador to Ghana and to fire the Liberian ambassador to France. And of course, you might be wondering, uh, we know this for a fact. We've been sitting on this information for a while. We wanted to get certain aspects of the information correct and, and to verify, and we have all of that now. So these two ambassadors, Claire Weir made George Weir fire them, and and I want to just tell you, oh, my mouth is itching. I should just tell you. Now, listen to this, folks. While George Weir was on his county tour, he fired these two people. <laughs> but do you want to know why? Now, I have the, uh, the ambassador to France. I have a letter of dismissal right here with me. I have it. And I will read it and I will publish it. And I got it from the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, I have it. I want to actually tell them. Oh my God, the thing I want to tell you to say is too heavy. It's too heavy. Ooh, it's too, it's too heavy. I should just tell you. Okay. Listen, folks, prepare yourselves for what I'm about to drop to you. Claire Weir has been to Paris, France 10 times since George Weir became president of Liberia. How many times? 10 times. 
Claudia has been to France 10 times. Every time she goes into France, she flies into France, she does it, she doesn't follow the right protocol, the right diplomatic protocol. She does not even consult with a diplomatic mission there. She does not, the mission does not even have information she's coming on until she arrives. Then she places a call, not to the ambassador to say I'm in town. She would place a call to, the, to her other links. The first secretary, she will call the driver. They will bring the embassy car or one of the embassy official vehicles. They will pick up up, pick, pick her up and take her around. So she's been to France 10 times. Now listen to this aspect. Listen. Claudia, I'm bracing, I'm preparing you for the bombshell. I'm, I'm about to drop it. Prepare yourselves. Prepare yourself, folks. Every time Claudia flies into France, the way she flies into the country, the, the French authorities would complain to the Liberian diplomatic mission. We don't like the way your first lady comes into our country. They would complain, they would complain, they would complain. And so Ambassador Golake, Baz Golake, confronted Claudia about this. And Madam First Lady, the French government is complaining about the way you come to their country. They don't like the way you come here. And the same thing with the Liberian ambassador to Ghana. Claudia flies into Ghana without telling the people. So the ambassador said to her, Claudia, the people are complaining about the way you come to Ghana. You don't tell us. You just fly into the people's country. You hang around. You go places. You do stuff. And they don't like it that way. They don't like the way you just come into their country. You are the first lady of another country with whom they have diplomatic ties. And they don't like the way you come into their country. Bam! Are you prepared for the bombshell? Tell me if you are prepared for the bombshell so I can drop it. Are you ready for the bombshell? So, sometime in January of this year, 2021, Claudia flew into France. This was her 10th trip. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Number 10. Her 10th trip. Claudia flew into France at Charles de Gaulle International Airport. Claudia was detained at the airport not for one hour, not for two hours, not for three hours, not for one day, but for two freaking days. The French authorities de detained the first lady of the Republic of Liberia at the airport for two whole days. They kept crowd we are in that airport, in the terminal. If I were to tell you what exactly, what she did, that they detained her for two days at the airport, I would be lying to you. But I know for a fact that the first lady of Liberia was detained at the airport for two days. According to what I am told, Claudia might have been in possession of contraband. Now, contraband can be a lot of things. It, it could be drugs. It, it could be an illicit amount of cash that you have that you're trying to enter the country with. For 48 hours, the French government detained our first lady at the airport in Paris. Two days, they kept that woman in the terminal. The Liberian ambassador, Mrs. Vaz Golake, was in Liberia at the time. She had to cut short her trip to Liberia, get on the plane, fly back to France, and go and engage and plead with the French authorities to release Claudia. Claudia was detained for 48 hours by the French government. Are you listening, folks? Now, according to my sources, my Minister of Foreign Affairs sources, and of course they gave me the letter of dismissal for the Liberian ambassador of France. I have it here. We will publish it. They say, Claire, we are normally travels into the people's country with, not only does she go into the country without following the diplomatic protocols as first lady of Liberia, she goes into the country with huge illicit amounts of cash. 
You know, most of these countries have rules, right? The $10,000 rule. You can't enter with more than $10,000 if you don't declare. Well, according to my sources, Claudia entered France on this particular occasion with more money or with, with something she wasn't sort of enter the country with. Contraband. And as I said, contraband can be drugs, can be this, can be money, uh, an illicit amount of cash. But for two days, for two freaking days, our First lady was detained at the Charles de Gaulle International Airport in France. It was Mrs. Ambassador Baz Golake that flew into France to secure Cloud Weir's release. The moment Cloud Weir got out of that situation, of course, she didn't rest. She made sure her husband fired the ambassador. Now, listen. She said the people don't respect her when she goes there. They don't treat her nicely. I'm going to read for you uh, the letter of dismissal that they sent to the ambassador. Let me read this letter for you. Mrs. Geraldine Baz Golake. Mrs. Geraldine Baz Golake is or was the ambassador until, of course, February 26, 2021. I mean, I fired a woman just a few weeks ago. And I've had this information for over a week now, and I've been sitting on it trying to gather more facts uh, from my sources at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Now, listen to this, folks. D. Master Kimaya wrote this letter. This is when George Neal was out of town. He was on the counter tour, the, the nationwide tour. This is when they took this action. Now, they said, now, I can't say to you exactly what cloud we are had with her, why they arrested her. But I'm told she had with her contraband. She has something with her that she should not have had with her. And the French government, she was trying to abuse her, the diplomatic uh, immunity that she enjoyed as the as first lady. Now, let me read this letter. Republic of Liberia, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Monrovia, Liberia. Office of the Minister, February 26, 2021. Dear Ambassador Baz Golake. I present my compliments and by directive of His Excellency Dr. George Malawiya, President of the Republic of Liberia, right to officially inform you that you are here but permanently recalled. You see, normally a veteran ambassador such as this would be recalled from one posting and then reassigned to another posting. But they inform her that she is permanently recalled. I mean, you're fired. <laughs> That's just the diplomatic and the euphemistic way to put it. Permanently recalled. Let me read further, folks. Right to officially inform you that you are permanent. You are here by permanently recalled from your post as ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary of the Republic of Liberia to the Republic of France and permanent delegate of the Republic of Liberia to UNESCO with immediate effect. You are directed to provide information regarding family members registered by the ministry for the purpose of providing air tickets and shipment of your personal effects. You will be contacted by the assistant minister for administration officer in charge of the department of administration in relation to your return to, Li to Liberia. I take this opportunity on behalf of His Excellency President Weir to thank you for your invaluable services to Liberia as well as your representation of the country. With kind regards, sincerely, D. Maxwell Sa Kimaya, Senior Ambassador, Minister of Foreign Affairs. Her Excellency, Mrs. Geraldine Baz Golake, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Liberia. To the Republic of France, a permanent delegate of the Republic of Liberia to UNESCO Paris, France. Folks, there you have it. This is the woman's letter of dismissal. George Weir fired a veteran ambassador, not one, two. The one to Ghana and the one to France because his wife came and told him, the people don't respect me when I go there. They don't talk to me nicely. Remember, this is the woman who flew into France to literally beg the French authorities to release you. Huh? The woman flew into France. Our publicist 
this letter. Somebody re remind me, my 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 dear sister Dinah. Dinah Chelsea Tibli, remind me, I will publish this letter later on today. They flew, the woman flew into France to beg the French government to release Claire Weir. Claire Weir was detained at the airport for 48 hours in January. They said she had in her possession illegal substances, contraband. Contraband can be money, an illicit amount of cash. Contraband can be uh, diamonds, contraband can be uh, uh, drugs, contraband can be a whole, a whole lot of things. Why was Claire Weir traveling with contraband? Detained for 48 hours at the airport in France in January. She says she goes to France a lot because she's going to see her son who plays football. Yeah, we're going to go to the phone lines and take some calls. So our two ambassadors, I'm forgetting the woman name from Ghana, the ambassador from Ghana. If it, whoever knows the ambassador, please tell me her name. The ambassador, the Liberian ambassador to Ghana, they fire her too. Because Cloud Weir flies into Accra the same way. She doesn't respect the people's uh, diplomatic proto proto protocols. The ambassador complained to her that the Ghanaian authorities have been complaining. We don't like the way your president comes to our country. We don't like the way she comes here. We don't like the way. And Cloud we are didn't like the way the people confronted her and said, Madam First Lady, the people are complaining. So they fired them. Imagine firing these veteran diplomats because your wife complains. Because your wife tells you that the people are... When she goes to France, you know what they do? She takes the people's official vehicle and the driver. That's what she used to do with Master Kimaya. Whenever she came to New York, Master Kimaya was at the time our permanent representative at the UN mission. Master Kimaya would give his car, would surrender his official vehicle and his driver to her, to chauffeur her around. That, that, because he was running a line. That's how she influenced his appointment as Minister of Foreign Affairs. You remember we told you that? Let's go to the phone lines and take some calls, George. Let's do that. Okay, folks, if you are listening to the concert show during this morning, the number to call on the show is 077 The WhatsApp number plus 231 777 Yeah. The WhatsApp number again. Let Cloudware deny it. Let the government of Liberia deny that Cloudware was arrested and detained at the airport in France in January for two days. Let them deny it. I'm waiting for them. The government of Liberia fires two ambassadors because Claire Weir complained them to her husband. Two seasoned diplomats. Because Claire Weir tells her husband that these people don't treat her nicely. Can you imagine that? Because we have a call. Let's take the call, George. Let's take the call. I'm waiting for the government to say we lie. That Claire Weir was not arrested at the airport. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Tato. Good morning, Tato. Morning! Make your point. Yeah, uh, Genevieve, uh, where are you speaking? Genevieve Kennedy. That's the name of the ambassador to Ghana. They fired Genevieve Kennedy as well. Yeah, Tato. That's the issue is that every information that you gave us today is factual. The information is factual. And you know, nobody wants to say the information or not. Because it's that she feels that what you think she can do in La Brosa, the city thing that she can do in other four countries. And by and by, if you don't think that you are in other four countries, they should have given her about two to three weeks back. She got beat up about what, two to three weeks. And then, of course, she will have to go to the first place. That means she will have to go to the first place. And then, she will have to go to the first place. And then, she will have to go to the first place. And then, she will have to go to the first place. And then, she will have to go to the first place. All right, William, thank you very much. Let's take another call. We are told that the Liberian ambassador to South Africa, Pretoria, was also recalled. They also fired her. <laughs> Three female ambassadors. Genevieve Kennedy, the ambassador to Ghana, a veteran, 
Veteran season diplomat with over 30 years under her belt, fired. Because Cloud, we are complaining her that when she goes to Ghana, the woman is not nice to her. Geraldine Bass Goraké, the ambassador to France, equally experienced and seasoned, fired. Even though she went, she flew from Liberia to go back to France in January to secure Cloud Wea's release. They fired her. Let's take some more calls there. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Let me know where you calling from. I'm Tube Desmond calling from Morocco. You know, God, I tell you so far, I think we're blessed God, it's here. We, that man, you know, God, that's not drunk, that's it. No, I don't forget. I bless God so much, they tell them, at least they name him. Let me tell you, that God, that's only for them. But we, that in that, we were not in a country, 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 but two, three, more get who they take your children, your family, that's what they all this is in the whole court, they want to get a door. Because they're not saying, oh, the government of the leadership of President John Rea. And now I'm telling the people right now, we should encourage ourselves, our brothers and sisters. We never went to the pool. We never are voting. Yeah, we want to get today. But today to the beat is where our door, we should get ready to, to, to prepare ourselves to get to the same thing. Can't say the 17th district in Montreal to remove President Rea out of power through the final back. You know, Mama Yoko, you just raised a good point. George Ria calls himself the feminist in chief. He's a big champion of women, women's rights. Yesterday was International Women's Day. He made a big speech, big commitment. And yet he just fired three female ambassadors because his wife complained two of them. I don't know the reason why he reportedly fired the ambassador to Pretoria, South Africa. I don't know. But these two ambassadors, Ambassador Geraldine Baz Golake, Ambassador to France, he fired her because his wife complained. Ambassador Genevieve A. Kennedy, Ambassador to Ghana, he fired her because his wife complained. Can you imagine that? I mean, look at, look, look, look at the disgrace. Our first lady getting arrested and detained at the airport in France for two days because she is in possession of contraband, illicit substances or materials. Look at the disgrace for our country. Can you imagine that? Oh my God. Let's take some more calls. Okay. Good morning. Morning, Father. Yeah, good morning. And let me say one to be one question. You know, my name is Dana G. Fairwell. My name is Jesu Mafai. That you are still found, they still are coming in this country. We are out of red lack of security. The country has a lot of security right now. And then you call a session in you are there five people around because like one individual, they say, they don't talk, they don't treat you well. What what we going to people? You need to let the that the that you want to do this person we are? It's that for our country. The kind of country we are saying is that what we are saying right now. The Lebron want to say that what we are saying, we are the young people. You, you, you have the almighty allowed you to enter them with a job who pray for them. It's to break five minutes, ten minutes in the street. The people want to say that they are pretty people. to Pretoria and then she was recently fired. Three ambassadors. Ambassador Edward Davis, um, Ambassador Geraldine Baz Golake, and Ambassador Genevieve A. Kennedy. Three ambassadors. All three experienced veteran diplomats fired by George Weir. Let's take some more calls. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, we can hear my brother. Are you there? Are you getting me clear? Yes, you are live. Okay. Okay, good morning. Hello, Mr. Costa. 
Good morning, Mike. Uh, Mike Jabate. Morning. <laughs> morning, 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 my man. Welcome. and these two because his wife complained them and that Claude Weah was detained in Paris for 48 hours we're waiting for them to deny that you will see they will never deny it
will not tell me what you from that thing. That's fun. That's very good to get to be part of you. Eh? In a first way, you see that they laugh. Because you forget about this in one point. You listen to our friend, our role model, who's in consumption of Google, what is in a view of the team, no personal structure, right? Nobody will know the car, you know, what is called it, what, 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 we know that you are investing in legal in business in this decision just way. What you have said, after you have given this review, you look at all you said and you realize it, you said, you consider the decision. And he, as a chief director, will be public, that the one more I go to step by court. We have seen the money from the executive. And when he said that he is making a soft threat, now we are saying, in terms of Birthday to you, drop tap. We wish you all the best as you celebrate your birthday today. We're going back to the phone lines. We're taking more calls there. The Liberian ambassador, Madam Geraldine Abbas Golake, was has been fired because of George Weir. Why uh, George Weir's wife uh, complaining her? George, do you have a call on the line? Yes, I need a now. Okay, all right. You will be informed the people, and they will be aware. 
the same thing that Jomi has said. When he used to fly from here to go to Ghana, he used to go and visit Jackie Jack Yapia. And then the Ghana person has to say, my man, you don't need to come to my country and room. Stop that thing. That is the same thing that the person is doing. All those people are heartless. All their heart is at the back. All the same thing, but I know that by God will be 2023, they will leave from power, and our incoming senator of Mozambique County will be seated at that time. Thank you to our leader, and then thank you to you. Thank you. Now, folks, I I, I don't think what Claire Weir was caught with in January was drugs. Because had she been caught with drugs, I don't think the French government would have allowed her to go quietly. I think she must have had a lot of cash. A lot of cash that she did not declare. That is what I think she might have been caught with. Because drugs, no. It would have been exposed. I mean, come on. The French court just recently convicted the former president, uh, Nicolas Sarkozy. They, they, they were not going to sit on that. If Claire I had been caught with drugs, trust me, they would have sent her to, to jail. They, it would have been in the news. I mean, I'm sure it was cash. Yeah. Cash is still illegal, but, you know, it's not as grave as having drugs. So I'm sure, it, I, I'm assuming it was, it was cash. Let's go back to the phone lines. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Yes, the name is... The religious advisor to the Costa Show. Thank you for the recognition. I am the religious advisor to the Costa Show. This is a fascinating show. And I say that coach in a calling for Banner Show. Let's hear you, my brother. Good morning to you, my dear religious advisor. Thank you, my chief. You know, uh, I think I have the money to make my contribution on this village show. Let me say this. You know, the way you bring out your child, that's how the cat grows, right? Mm -hmm. The topic about uh, when you were white is not fair to me, as for me, I can say clearly. Because uh, when, you, when, you, when you say it's basically a biological resource, uh, secretly, you see the things they do there, and uh, it will not be fair to hear that uh, the first day of being involved in those sorts. But my hero, the only thing I can say to you is, we are here on ground. And I just want you to remain consistent as you are, even though there are some guys that you push from there today, and they are not here to recognize you. But we are here and we know your good that you have done for the other people. You sat on a video for, for two nights, sleepless nights, and you are still consistent. And I'm proud of you, continue to do the work of the other people, and we are here to have you rewarded tomorrow. Thank you for calling me the time. Okay. Thank you, my dear brother. The religious advisor to the Costa Show, Brother Sigajibo. Let's take some more calls there. Okay, and we show each other this morning. I have here, uh, George, I have the citation, uh, the uh, Browning Samukai citation. Hold on, folks. Uh, yeah, you know, the citation, uh, this, uh, uh, the 5th of March is dated here, the 5th of March, the petition for the rate of prohibition. That was filed by, uh, before the, uh, board of commit, I mean, the petition was filed by, um, Brani Samo Samo, by directive of his owner, Joseph N. Nangbe, uh, Associate Justice presiding in Chimba, you are here by cited to a conference with his owner on Tuesday, March 9th, which is to, today at the, Hour of 2 p.m. in connection with the above caption case. So Brownie Samukai and his lawyers went and got and cited the neck before uh, the um, before the this is the citation involving of course the NPC. John, you remember the NPC, Simeon Freeman? Yes. The game is small thing to go for something again. Brandon Samuel, I'm okay, going talk about you assume me. Now it's seamless, man. Uh, DM is the Brandon Samuel, or DM is the Samuel, in read. Movement for progressive change incorporated by and through its chairman or new pass away petitioner 
versus the Board of Commissioners by and through its chairperson, David Heather Brown Lantana, and versus Brandon J. Samukai. So the MPC thing, it goes before the Supreme Court today. They're having a conference at 2 p.m. today. They will be appearing at the Supreme Court. I thought you should know that. Uh, this is a rate of pro prohibition that came from the MPC to halt the uh, certification of Brown and Samukai. Uh, all the tactics played by the government, all of them politically motivated. Let's go and take some more calls there. So today at 2 p.m. they will show up at the Supreme Court for a, uh, a, con for a, a conference before Joseph Nakbe. Nagbe was the one who granted a rate of prohib prohibition filed by the MPC of Simeon Freeman's useless political trash call party. They have no face to fry in this oil. They're only jumping in because they were paid to do so. Let's take some calls then. George? Yes. Let's take calls. Momo, you're calling me. Please call back. I do not want to be content. The powerful chairman. CO7701202086. Zero one zero TD eight TD the WhatsApp number plus two three one triple seven three four zero seven three seven zero seven seven zero one two one two zero eight eight six zero one zero TD eight TD no cause yet mm -hmm. let me call the chairman good uh listen folks yeah good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning pa Welcome. Welcome to you, Pap. has no face to fry in this Browning Samokai case. He did not participate in Lofa County. No candidate from his party participated in the Lofa County Senate race. All the complaints, which were frivolous by the way, 
which had no substance, that were brought against the election of Browning were defeated. At the level of the NEC and at the level of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ordered that Browning be immediately certificated upon squashing the last of the election complaints that went before them. Now, for Senior Freeman to go to court, to the Supreme Court, to pray the Supreme Court. You see, the whole thing was strategic. Listen to this. Senior Freeman was paid 8,000 US dollars, according to our sources, by Samuel Twain, to file this thing. 8,000. You would think Senior Freeman, who brags about being a rich man, you would think $8,000. You say, what? $8,000? Not 80. I said, 8. Yes. A portrait, a patent of $8,000 is what Simeon Freeman was supposedly paid to carry out this operation. So they waited until Joseph Nabe became the justice in chamber. Now, 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 the, the onus is on Joseph Nabe to prove himself or to prove us wrong. But according to our sources, they waited, they calculated until Joseph Nabe became the Justice in Chamber, the CDC Associate Justice Joseph Nagbe, before Simeon could file his thing. Because the new Nagbe, the whole thing was wired. It was rigged. So that Joseph, because only a Joseph Nagbe would issue a rate of prohibition in such a matter. This is ridiculous. That rate, that, that petition for a rate of prohibition should have been denied. Denied without prejudice. Why? Because Senior Freeman has got absolutely no standing. In law, there's the principle of standing. What fish do you have to fry in this oil? Did NPC as a political party have a candidate in Lover County? No. A Senior Freeman from Lover, Lover County? No. So what fish does Senior Freeman have to fry in this oil? That is what they call standing in law. Simeon has no standing in this matter. For Joseph Nagbe to have confirmed, eh? for Joseph Nagbe to have granted a prohibition, a writ for a prohibition to Simeon, speaks volumes. It lends legitimacy and credibility to the information that we have received. That Simeon is a cheaply paid, lowly paid government operative for a paltry $8,000. Simeon went to the court when Nagbe became presiding, uh, uh, presiding justice in Jimba and petitioned the court and speedily the court granted it. And today they are appearing at 2 p.m. There is no basis whatsoever for Simeon to be uh, uh, so, let me tell you something. When they go to the court, now what is Simeon going to say in the in the in the matter today? I want to know what Simeon will say today. What is he going to say? Oh, NPC is affected by the Brandon Summer guy said situation. How the hell are you affected by it? How the hell? Look at that guy, Eddie Pig are gone. Eddie, what's wrong with you, my 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 brother? I'm disappointed in you. I have a little bit of respect for you. I told you you knew the facts. The facts are that this matter is a political, is a politically motivated matter. Did the court records say that Brian and Samukai converted the money to a personal use? It did not say that. Had they said it, we wouldn't even be speaking in a way that would come across as defending Browning. No, the court did not say that. The court said that Brownie Samukai took instruction from the president, as he, Brownie, said, and used the funds. Did Ellen say that publicly before the trial? Yes, she did say that in 2018. Of course, uh, she didn't help him. She could have helped him. She could have written the court. She could have petitioned, I mean, petitioned the court in her capacity as former uh, commander-in-chief on whose order Brani carried out this action to go into the uh, pension fund and take funds out to uh, prepare the army or the um, soldiers for deployment to Mali. 
But to say that he took the money, he did not take the money. We all know the facts, so don't try to sell your lies to us and pre pretending that uh, they are the truth. Let's take some more calls there, George. We've got about 15 minutes to go. Let's take some more calls. So we will report to you what happens today at the Supreme Court at 2 p.m. Then senior that making be matter you sue me. You son of a swan. Good morning. Yeah, I will start a campaign against uh, Babati DSTV business. Thank you this morning for the topic our our hero in your federal court staff. This is DJ Luma on the line. No federal. The only reason the 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 NDC business will start or join or perform will start. The border one that they give it to each community, which is one to perform. They start correct. And I said it before. Let each community get two or three to perform. Take some more calls there. Uh, we will, as I said, give you update when we get uh, after the uh, hearing today before Joseph Nagwe. I can't wait to hear what senior female head will say today. Oh, we are here because we're political party. What fits you? You see, do you know why anybody can get sued? Anybody? Because you got to have grounds. There's something called standing in the law. What standing do you have to sue? The court will, before the court even grants you audience, the court wants to know whether you have standing. So my people, you who are lawyers, what standing does MPC, that Pupu Plantoon Donga Flair Party of loud mouth, insignificant, irrelevant, attention-seeking senior Freeman? What relevance does that Pupu Plantoon Doga, Doga Flair Party have? Eh? What legal standing does it have to go to the Supreme Court and petition them to halt somebody's certi certification? My boy, I believe them, you. The government, uh, they embarrass. They can't continue to fight branding through the courts. Because the Supreme Court been ruling in the brand in Jamaica case. So what are they doing? They say, okay, we will find somebody that we can use. So he can't do that. We the one doing it. And you see the strategy. Samuel Twelve go to Simeon Freeman again, eight thousand. My man, go file the team. Ah. They carry that. Wait, but wait here for it. Let our man Joseph Blamo get in the in the in the play there. So he becomes the associate, I mean the justice in in, in chamber, then you can go file it. And you see their plan. Now they're all playing. Hey, they will not know. You think we're stupid? Let's take some more calls there, Josh. They were waiting for Blamo. I mean, for Joseph Nangwe. Soon Joseph Nangwe get in the tier. Then they file the team. Yeah, oh, good morning, Josh, and good morning to my hero, you know. It's excellent to see that I see that you have a better posture and a piece of it for my hero. But let me say happy birthday to you as a celebrity and a talented 
Your WhatsApp number plus two three one triple seven. Joe, don't don't forget to go for your fifty bucks for your birthday. And you know who I'm talking about? Who's gonna give it? Yeah. Dao. Don't don't call him any that Dao. Yeah, I'll tell you the person name. <laughs> okay, text me the name so I'm sure you know. Uh mm -hmm. let's take uh three more calls and we're gonna call it a day here. Just gonna go back to bed. Yeah, good. Yes. 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 Don't mind that back, back, do more. What seven to fourteen? Some next to it? Why, 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 <laughs> Don't mind that man, Baba, you're not going soon nowhere. I'm mean, gonna be more. I say people when I use a man DSTV. Yeah, you sat sat com K3 Nana Sat. All right, Pa, go on, man. Thank you, Pa. Thank you. John? Thank you. Simeon? All right, Pa, go on, thank you. Denying that Claudia was not detained at the airport in France for two days. I'm waiting for the government to issue a statement that the French, the Liberian ambassador to France has not been fired because Claudia told her husband to fire her, Ambassador Geraldine Baz Golake. I'm waiting for the government to also deny that the Liberian ambassador to Ghana, Madame Genevieve A. Kennedy, has not been recalled or fired. Because of Claire, we are complaining her to her husband. I'm waiting for them to deny that. I'm also waiting for them to deny 
that a Liberian ambassador to South Africa, Pretoria, Ambassador Elta Davis, has not been fired. The reason for her re uh, permanent recall, I do not know. But the other two ambassadors, Ambassador to France, who was fired on the 26th of February, Ambassador to Ghana, who has been fired as well, Geraldine, I mean, uh, Genevieve Kennedy, is because of Cloudway. And now, the thing is simple. Simeon Freeman has made it a business to be against the opposition people. This is what we need to do to him. <clears throat> Boycott his businesses. Don't buy his water. George, I need you all to do me an investigation. Tell me what brand of water Simeon Freeman sells so we can make sure people don't buy his water. You see his water, you don't buy his water that his factory makes. That is a nasty water factory. His satellite TV, do not subscribe with him. Go to SATCOM. Go to K3. Go to Nanasat. There are three other, at least three other satellite TV service providers that I know. And they are in Monrovia. They are just as good and they are even more affordable than Simeon Freeman's overly priced uh, uh, overpriced DSTV. So abandon Simeon Freeman's DSTV. Move to one of the three. One of the three. With no particular preference whatsoever. One of the three. K3, SATCOM, NANASAT, why put money in a man's pocket when a man has made it his business to be a sellout and a damn punk for the government? A stooge. To let a sedition and a patronizing. If you, you see, this is how people work in other, let me tell you something. There's a guy here in America. You know? It's a big businessman. He manufactures food products. Goya. Nah, I like, I like Goya. Trust me. I like that seasoning. It's the best. Goya seasoning. I like the beans, Goya beans. Goya makes a whole variety of foods, different types of foods. Goya got up, the CEO of Goya got up and endorsed Donald, Donald Trump. Now, supporters of Biden were pissed off and they didn't like that and decided to boycott Goya food products. That's what people do. I remember when France refused to join America in the invasion of Afghanistan, was it? I believe it was Afghanistan. Do you know what President Bush did? It was either Afghanistan or Iraq. Bush said that Americans should boycott French products, French wine, French champagne, French cognac. They were boycotting French products. In fact, the Americans stopped calling uh, uh, the, the fries French fries. They started calling them freedom fries. Freedom fries. People do it all over the world. That's what you do. You don't give money to your opponent. If you are using DSTV now, ditch it. Ditch it. Throw it away. Go and get yourself a SATCOM ditch or a K3 ditch. They are just as good. And the beauty is they are even cheaper. Now, there will be no show tomorrow. Mind you, tomorrow is Decoration Day in Liberia. It's a holiday, as you know, traditionally we don't do the show. So don't think that uh, there will be no show tomorrow. Hmm? There will be no show tomorrow. Ha! All right, folks. No show, no show tomorrow. So don't get alarmed when you don't see us on because we will not be here tomorrow. Good. All right, folks. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll be back here on Thursday. Uh, the day after tomorrow, to continue to do exactly what we do. All right, bye bye. George? Yes. My man, are you? Okay. But wait, 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 George, play your number, your man. La, la, la. La, you're, you're saying where George is, man. George, call your number. Where are you saying where number? Zero eight eight zero. Uh huh. Fifty one. Okay. Wait, 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 George, wait. Fifty one. 34 34 17 17 A dog wave number man Your dog wave is a small thing 10 hours, 5 hours, same wave 
Wait, dollar, let me, let me go and over again. Plus two, three, one. Mm-hmm. Eight, eight, zero. Yeah. Five, one, three. Mm-hmm. Four, one, seven, right? Yes. I got to call it out loud so that those who are not uh, watching, because most of the people follow, that follow the show do not follow the show via Facebook. They follow via one of the other... Uh, one of the several other platforms that we use, the online. So that's George's number. You can drop George Smarty for your birthday. $5, $10, $15. Yeah, man, don't no worry. Right down the three, the man, birthday. The man, birthday. The man been working hard. Yeah, y'all yeah, say George Smarty. Uh, yeah, man, same for Akotisi. I'm going to tell you happy, happy birthday. Uh, is it, is it, uh, George, I'm gonna tell you happy birthday, but I mean, seven for seven, I'm gonna tell you happy birthday. Is it a fool not working? <laughs> I made it all there for the one. Yeah, sorry, man, say a fool not working. You might not, you might not, you might not call him. We got a fool not, a fool not, a fool not, a fool not on that, that he laughed at you. I mean, 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 I Five dollar, ten dollar. Any number you win, Joe. Sure. Joe, how much was last beer now? <laughs> For what last beer? I thought. <laughs> Joe, always know last last beer price. Joe, why you always know the price of last beer, so? Because last beer is all my favorite drink. <laughs> Joe, let last beer be there, my man. Like, yeah. Where where is it? The 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 the. the uh, the way is the 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 the, the coldest last beer you can drink, the the best last beer, the cold. I mean, drinking spot. Where do you get it from, George? Where where your favorite spot? I'm sure it's for about eighteen. Over eighteen? Yeah. Nah, where you can get correct beer, cold beer. The twelve bar. Who they start making drink? Maybe today buy one to six bottle. Oh, so I see what the man on the post here talking about. Uh, 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 they donate money to your birthday, so you can go drink star, eh? Yeah. I see. You won't go drink star on you? Yo. My man, tell your phone. I don't know. When people say you buy, I'm going to tell you. I'll tell you that, though, you go. And you're going to go to that Brabi. Brabi will give you half for your birthday. You want to send me the man number? Look at him. You don't know the man number? No, I don't have my phone. I'll be sent my phone. All right, I see you. All right, folks. Thank you so much. God bless you all, and have, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, bye. Okay. Oh God, thank you.